Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm back with a Halloween video. This time we're doing mermaid style. And I just did this on my own and I looked at a few pictures from Google and got inspired to do this mermaid tutorial. And I really like the turnout. It's really, really nice and pretty. It's really simple and really cute. And you guys can wear this for Halloween or for every day. I don't know, whatever you guys want. Whatever you guys feel you want. And yeah. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like it, and stay tuned. And I will link everything down below where you can find everything what I use. And comment down below if you have any recommendations for any videos that you want to see from me. And continue with the video. So first off, I'm going to be starting off with a makeup wipe just to clean off any excess dirt or makeup. Then I'm using the Neutrogena Matte Primer, I actually really really like. And I'm just dying it all on my face. And then I'm using these two concealers. There's a green and an orange all over my face. And then I'm going to dab it with a sponge just so it can set in for a foundation. Using the L'Oreal True Batch and the Maybelline Matte Fit Me. I'm blending the two and they give me such a full coverage. And guys, these foundations both cost under $10, so it's such a great deal. With my Morphe M439, just blending all the way to my neck, so you can have an even coverage, of course. You're gonna be a mermaid, you gotta look flawless. <laughs> then I'm gonna be taking the Rimmel London Concealer all over, underneath my eye, not all over, just underneath my eye, <laughs> with a Real Technique sponge. Then I'm using my air spun powder. I'm gonna be baking my um under my eye. <laughs> I forgot. And I'm putting a lot just because I'm gonna have a lot of fallout from the eyeshadow today. Then I'm gonna be using this eye primer from Urban Decay and Eden. Then I'm using Frappe and Sora for the Manny and Wang palette for Make It Peak. And I'm just doing this as a transition color before I put my face color. And I love these colors because it's just so nice for everyday use. And then I'm just taking this purple pink, but it shows a little bit more pink on video. But trust me, in real life, it's purple and pink. <laughs> so I'm just blending, blending it, and I'm gonna blend it till my outer V, all the way to my brow tail. <laughs> and then kind of in the inner corner, just blending it down. Just blend, 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 blend. And then I'm using ColourPop and Eyeshadow Dare. This is a really pretty eyeshadow. It has like glitter in it and it's just so pretty. Then I'm using the NYX glitter in the really dark purple. Just so I can add more Pazium to my eyeshadow. And I'm just blending it upward and upward. And I'm just blending it in so there's no harsh lines. Then I'm using the Rimmel London Nude Pencil on my um, waterline. Then I'm using this NYX glitter liner. It's a light purple on my inner corner. Then I'm just dusting off all the powder because I'm done with eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using these hand fishnets and I'm just going to tape it to my face. It's better if you find the fishnets that fit your whole face, but this is all I had. And I'm just taping it all over my face and it kind of looks a little funny, but it works, trust me. For this look, so I'm going to be using the Morphe 35P and I'm using all the purple and I just mix it all together. And what you want to do is just like pack it on, like put a lot on. It's not going to show if you're careful, just put it all on. You won't mess up, like it'll look nice either way. And just doing this as you're contouring and a little bit more on top too where you usually highlight all over. And I put it on top of my forehead and of course on the side. So next I'm going to be contouring my nose just because it looks it look a little bit more fun. <laughs> so I'm just using a lighter purple to contour. I put a little bit too much. I got carried away, but girl, don't worry, I calmed down. <laughs> then I'm just using a lighter one in the middle, of course. And just blending it all in because it seemed too harsh. And I really like it. <laughs> so, what did I do next? I forgot. Oh, just kidding. I'm going to cover my brows. <laughs> and I'm just using this NYX, no NYX, NYC foundation stick. 
So what I used was this purple mascara, but it did not turn out purple on me, which I was so upset about. But it doesn't really matter, I just needed some coverage on my brows. And they stayed on the whole day, they looked really good. It's kind of a purple tint, not really, but yeah, it worked. Then I'm putting purple on my lower lash line, just to add a little bit more depth to my eyeshadow. And I'm using this white eyeliner from NYX, just dotting it on. And guys, you can use false lashes if you want to add more pizam. And I put a wig on just to match my whole entire look because it looked really cute. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank <laughs> you.